Hi Paul. Nice to see you this morning. Uh, did really well today in your first session. Uh, made some really good progress. Uh, the first things re really I want to go over um, are just basic points. Um, so basic setup, holding the golf club, and basic sort of alignment. Um, so really looking here on the video on the right hand side, um, the, the red flag here, uh, which was the 100 marker, is what we were aiming at. Uh, we said that, it's, um, imagine that you're standing to your target along the side of a train track. Um, so you want your club face aiming at your target and you want your body position to be a little bit parallel or I mean just a little bit left of that target. Uh, feet there look like they're aiming straight at it, so they're not too bad. A little bit closed uh, in relation to your target, but the main area of discussion that we talked about was the shoulder line here. Uh, you can see that they're a little bit more open to your target, so aiming a little bit too far to the left. Um, so what we got you to do there was we, we put a, a shaft down on the floor uh, with the correct alignment, so we got you standing parallel to that line, one with your feet, and then we got you to turn your left shoulder around a little bit more to try and get them, get your shoulders more in line with the target as well. Um, so when you did that, again that stopped you, uh, that squared you up a little bit more, and then what that did, um, you can see during this swing, you have a little change in direction there, but then you see the club coming outside that line and across on the inside. So that's adding that side spin. You said the odd occasion you got a sliced shot. Um, so you've got a square club face there. That movement across that ball from out to in would create that side spin to take it off to the right hand side and miss your target. So ideally there, just squaring your shoulders off would allow that club to come back on a much better direction into the ball a little bit squarer to your target and slightly from the inside, allowing you to rotate your four rounds and hit a shot that was much more consistent straight at your target. The other area that we looked at uh, was this uh, grip. Now, your left hand grip was a little bit too weak. Now, we did mention that um, you needed to be able to see two knuckles, or the first two knuckles on your left hand, and then this V created between you your index finger and your thumb would point up to your right ear. Now that would help with the rotation of your forearms and squaring up of the club face. If it's into a weaker position, the neutral position when your hands are moving at speed is those two knuckles and the V pointing up to your right ear. So if you had it weak to start with, then what you'd find there is that the club face would come back to the golf ball slightly open to your target and you would have to really feel that you're flipping your right hand over the top of your left to impact to try and get the ball to go um, somewhere near your target without without heading off to the right hand side. So we turned your left hand around to the right a little bit more so you could clearly see those two knuckles. And also here on your right hand, your right hand, uh, we just moved your thumb across the shaft a little bit so it was on an angle um, just to stop you from squeezing the club between your thumb and your index finger of your right hand. Um, so that would really loosen up the grip, get your hands working much better together, helping you to rotate and close that club face down uh, to create a more consistent ball flight, starting on your target and staying pretty much on your target. Uh, what we did find when we strengthened your grip, we found that your know, first couple of shots did go to the left, but again that's a result of having a weak grip before and trying to rotate your forearms a little bit too much. So keep the neutral grip and just try and practice just quietening those um, forearms down through impact so they're not turning over, uh, your right hand's not turning over the top of your left quite so quickly. Um, the other area that we had a look at um, just towards the end of the session, which I got you to um, try and complete your swing in a proper finished position. I've just popped up the, this red line here on the video on the left. That's just indicating where I want the middle of your body to be in that finished position. So when you're standing nice and tall over your left side, this line should be down the middle of your body. You can see during this golf swing, um, before we talked about it, you can see there is when you made the swing, all this weight the position 
stall on your back foot again trying to lift that golf ball in the air and then when you come into your finished position you can see all your weights on your right foot your left heel is actually up off the floor there again pushing the weight onto the right side and the middle of your body there is a long way behind that line so again that's going to create those inconsistent shots the ones where you caught the top edge of the golf ball or the ones where you hit the ground before it first before the golf ball um, and caught the ground or hit what we call a heavy shot or a fat shot and so that's going to cause those inconsistent shots now ideally to get yourself in a position where your body is and your weight are all on that left hand side there's a few things that have got to happen beforehand you've got to transfer your weight over to that left hand side and it will get you into a position where uh, all your weight and you're standing nice and tall over your left foot your belt buckle facing your target and then you're standing nice and tall on your right tip so um, and again that's going to create a more downward strike into the back of the golf ball creating a much more consistent strike on that golf ball so uh, we gave you a couple of drills um, to work on really based on the alignment and the grip and the, the rotation in your forearms the, uh, the drill we gave you for that was just making half a swing um, and then really trying to control that rotation to hit the ball uh, straight at your target and we had the boundary lines either side and um, so if you hit a shot down towards your target in between the boundaries great give yourself a pass on the back it was a good shot but if you were outside the boundaries either right or left uh, we explained that if you was right of the boundary then your club face was open to your target and the ball was starting out to the right and if you over rotated your forearms then that would close your club face down make the ball go to the left and then you'd miss the target or miss the boundary left of that uh, left of that line so just keep working on those drills uh, if you've got any problems in the meantime just give me a call uh, but good luck with this all and i look forward to seeing you again soon